Hi. So you got yourself a cigar box guitar and you've been having a little fun and a little success with it and you're thinking about maybe expanding your sound. Maybe you want to sound a little more like a real guitar. Um, you're thinking about getting a pedal. Um, Shane Spiel did a, a video where he answered a viewer's question. Uh, the guy was thinking about getting a compressor pedal as his uh, first pedal. And uh, Shane recommended uh, that you get a uh, delay pedal instead. Um, I can't argue with that, um, especially if you got a piezo pickup. But maybe you've got a uh, humbucker, like I do here, or a single coil, uh, which you find on an electric guitar, and you want to get more of an electric guitar sound. Um, well, I'm going to show you today. Um, I'm going to answer that question about the compressor, and I'm going to show you about a, uh, an overdrive pedal and a reverb pedal and what they do to your sound. So let's uh, start in with uh, your uh, bass sound. This is um, unplugged. This is what your guitar sounds like. Um, now I'm going to plug, turn on the amplifier and this is amplified just through the clean channel. So let's start with that compressor that the guy uh, asked about. So what does a compressor do? Well, it's going to take your uh, entire s signal and it's going to raise it up, but it's not going to allow it to raise above a certain level. Um, so it's basically it's going to raise your lows and it's going to top your highs. Um, so what that's effectively going to do is make the guitar sound louder without ever overcooking it. Um, it's going to allow you to uh, hear those strings ring a little longer, kind of giving you the effect of maybe a little more sustain. So here's uh, just that clean sound. And now I'm going to turn on the compressor. is it is not an artificial sustain so that if I actually stop the strings the sound stops. Um, would I buy it as my first pedal? Probably not. Um, if you're performing is it a useful pedal to have? Maybe it is but it's not fun and if you're going to spend some money on your first pedal you're going to be disappointed because it's not really going to change your enjoyment of playing your guitar. Um, if I was going to recommend a first pedal, uh, I'd probably get an overdrive. Now maybe you get overdrive through your amp already, then in case maybe you don't need it, but it is nice to have it as a pedal because then you can turn it on and off uh, a lot easier without having to walk back to your amp. Um, I've got a Joeo uh, Vintage Overdrive, which is essentially an Ibanez Tube Screamer clone. Um, and this is what it sounds like. Uh, this is again your clean sound. And this is with it. So that's giving you that classic rock and roll sound that... So it's that grunt. Um, again, that's overdrive. There's also distortion and fuzz, and I'd go ahead and look up other videos on how to, uh, what the distinction between those is. I'm not going to go into it, but uh, if you're looking for that classic electric guitar sound, overdrive is what you're looking for. Uh, I also have here a uh, classic uh, TC Electronics Hall of Fame uh, reverb pedal. And uh, what reverb is going to do is it's going to make you sound like you're playing in a bigger hall. It uh, gives you that echo, and there's lots of different flavors of it. Um, so here's your uh, regular sound. And here is with a, a spring reverb uh, style. I don't know if you can hear that, but 
is I stop the strings from ringing. There's kind of a little echo back there. It's subtle. Um, I can turn it up. The, uh, this is a church setting. So it gets a little wild pretty quick. Um, I like it just on a spring. So you can start putting those pedals together. So this is uh, with them all back on. So, personally, I like playing just with the overdrive and the uh, reverb. Not very good yet. Alright, so that's what I wanted to show you. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, see you later.